it's Liberty and today I'm going to be doing the Gilmore Girls Readathon TBR. Now I did the Gilmore Girls Readathon back in 2020 and really enjoyed it. The power of my street went out halfway through, that was the thing. Um, but yeah, I jumped to it again when I found out that it was coming back. So here is my TBR. I will put the link to the announcement video and to the Instagram account in the description and there is also a discord as well um you can get there via the instagram account and a lot of people chatting in there about what books they're going to read etc etc so do check that out if that's interesting to you the official dates for the readathon are between the 7th and the 13th of november um but it's very low pressure as well as the prompts there is also a bingo board um which i'm not going to plan on filling in i think if i fill it in great because there is just so many and yeah that's on the instagram account as well if you like this do give this a little thumbs up and i make videos all about books history personality etc so do check those out if you want to so the first prompt is for a book that's set in a small town and for this i'm actually going to read the official group read um, which is as seen on TV. This is set in a small town called Pleasant Hollow. Our main character is a journalist. Uh, her name is Adina and she's living in New York. She's fed up with the New York dating scene and she's seen so many of these, you know, TV movies where people move to small towns and fall in love. So when a story that could make her career comes up about a real estate company who are going to develop this town, she decides she's going to cover the story. It's a story that could get her her dream job in an online magazine so and maybe a little bit of romance too so she heads straight over to Pleasant Hollow. But Pleasant Hollow is nothing like she imagined it. There is no cute little bakery, there are no events, town bonding like in Gilmore Girls. However there is a handsome man called Finn Adams who is right up Adina's street. However, he is working for the company that is hoping to develop the town. So lots and lots of conflict there. This sounds cute, easy to read, easy to get into, and yeah, just a good time. So that's gonna be what I'm reading for that. The second prompt is for a book with family drama. And I have decided to go with a lady's guide to fortune hunting. This is a historical novel set in Regency England, specifically 1818, and Kitty Talbot is the main character in this novel, and she has taken it upon herself to find herself a rich husband because her parents are both dead, she's got quite a few siblings, and she, I mean, the whole family are like months away from being turfed out of their house and having nowhere to go. As it is only men in this world who can make their fortune, Kitty's decided she's going to go to London, have a family friend sort of sponsor her for the season and go and find herself a husband. Kitty picks her target thanks to her sister Cecily's school friend and she sort of ingratiates herself and hopes for a proposal. However, his older brother sees right through her. He's determined to stop her at any cost, while Kitty's determined to use everything at her disposal to make this match. I love a good Regency romp. I love the fact that we are seeing a family who would not be a part of high society, just trying to make it through and, you know, claw their way in because there are so many books and so many TV shows about like high, high society um, and just really rich people. It's nice to read about struggle. I'm a historical fiction bitch, I love it. Haven't read a lot recently, so very excited. And it is a debut and it came out this summer. I'm terrible at reading books when they actually come out. So actually a few months late is fantastic. So for the next prompt, it is gonna be a book set between fall or winter. Now for this, I'm reading Infamous by Lex Croucher. I've been reassured that it is the perfect book for autumn or winter. Uh, it actually came out way like a few months ago but I've been saving it um, because I love to read summery books in summer and you know wintry autumny books in autumn. The main characters in this are Edith or Edie and Rose. They are 22 years old and have known each other for a long 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 time and have been best friends. They have been each other's constant companions, climbing trees together, stealing wine, throwing grapes at boys, practicing kissing, but now the time has come for them to be launched onto society proper. Rose has embraced this and is talking about marriage, but Edie is horrified. 
Edie is an aspiring writer and meets this poet called Nash Nicholson that she has always loved, who is one of Byron's great rivals. He invites her to his private estate in the countryside and think the gathering where Frankenstein was born and you will be in the right place for this book. His estate is gothic and crumbling and just spooky vibes. There are all sorts of people gathered there indulging in all sorts of hedonistic pursuits and Edie's determined that she's going to finish her novel and make it published. Aren't we all, Edie, aren't we all? Edie is discovering that there is much more than her career to be won here. I'm very excited to read this. I've been waiting for this to come out for a long time and been saving it for the perfect moment and here it is. The next prompt is to read a book with complicated love interests and for this I've chosen Shine by Jessica Jung. Now Jessica Jung used to be a member of Girls Generation and she left and there was like big controversy about it. Um, I'm not gonna lie I don't know too much about that or too much about Girls Generation. I only really know like Taeyeon and Hyo, that's kind of it. But I do love their music. I've heard this book is super autobiographical and caused big stir when it came out. The main character of Shine is Rachel Kim and she's a Korean American. She's 18 years old and she gets scouted by this sort of fictional entertainment company to become a trainee to be a K-pop idol. So this book is about her trainee period and the competition with the girls that are sort of destined to be her group mates and you know trying to be perfect all the time, be the perfect trainee to be the perfect idol and then also the romance side, not being allowed to date, but finding herself attracted to Jason Lee, who is this already, already a K-pop star. And he's, you know, very charming and handsome and everything like that. I've heard that there are lots of parallels between certain people in real life and characters in these books. Um, but I mean, most of it will go over my head apart from Taeyeon, who's, I mean, she's the leader. So it's going to be really, it's going to be so easy to work out who her character is. This is like Jessica trying to show her side of what happened and I'm so curious. <laughs> and it's on Scribbit. I saw it on Scribbit and I was like, I, I have to, I have to, I can't not. <laughs> the next prompt is to read a book by an Asian author or of like Asian representation in it. And I mean, I could read Shine, that Shine would work here too, but um, I really want to read Magic Steeped in Poison. And this has been on my TBR for ages. It's the first book in a fantasy duology and it's a debut. Um, the magic system in this world is all to do with tea and the sort of the masters of how to brew tea magically and properly are called Shenon Shi. Hope I pronounced that right. Our main character is Ning and she is a tea maker. Uh, unfortunately, her mother died because of a potion that went wrong and her sister is in danger of losing her life as well. Ning hears about this competition to find the um, kingdom's sort of greatest tea master. And so she goes to the Imperial City to compete and to hopefully win a favor from the princess to save her sister's life. While she's in the Imperial City, she also has to deal with sort of court politics, romance. There's like a handsome, mysterious boy with secrets. I'm assuming that's what's gonna, what's gonna happen. <laughs> Ning finds herself in more danger than she ever could have imagined and I'm very excited. Yeah, I just, I've been waiting for the right time to read this book. Um, uh, the copy I have is like purple sprayed edges and is signed. I'm, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> the next prompt is an action and it is to bake a full treat and watch your favourite episode of Gilmore Girls. Um, I watched the Bracebridge dinner last time um, and I cooked, I think, peanut butter, chocolate brownies. Um, yeah, I... I will see what I'm going to do this time. The final prompt is to read a book with leaves on the cover. And I mean, Magic Steeped in Poison works, I think, as seen on TV, also works. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to read one of those. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fast reader. Um, but for options for another book, I've got The Uncrowned Queen by Anne O'Brien. I love Anne O'Brien. She writes historical fiction novels all about sort of women in the medieval period in Britain. This one is about Philippa of Hainal, Hainalt, Hainal, I hope I don't, mm. um, but she was the wife of Edward III of England. And I saw her appear in a previous novel that Anne O'Brien has written, which was about Joan of Kent. Um, so this is set sort of earlier in Philippa's life. And right now Edward III is imprisoned. The Dowager Queen Isabella, who was married to Edward II, and her lover Roger Mortimer has have sort of taken control of the kingdom and Edward is, Edward's in prison. 
by them and Philippa is sort of trying to figure out you know how to get him out how to how to you know see justice is done set England to rights all of that the whole hundred years war is just fascinating it's something that I need to I want to learn more about and historical fiction has always been my way into things so um yeah that's that's my final book <laughs> so that was my tbr for the gilmore girls readathon um yeah i i i wonder if anyone's gonna be participating with me if you are let me know maybe i'll see you on the discord i'm excited i think i've assembled a mix of genres and and things to keep me going through this readathon i mean i might start it early because i'm not a fast reader um and i'd like to finish with everyone so <laughs> might start now. If you like this, do give a little thumbs up and I make videos all about books, history, personality, etc. So do check those out if you want to. Happy reading! <laughs>